Historically, electric car manufacturers have primarily relied on engines made from rare earth magnets, a resource that China dominates. Not only that, this is also considered a strategic weapon that China uses in diplomatic negotiations. However, the tide is about to change, as the automotive industry is currently undergoing a fierce competitive phase. Suppliers and car manufacturers from regions such as Europe, America, and Japan are all striving to create electric car engines that eliminate rare earth elements, saying no to dependence on China. So, what are the advantages of an engine that does not use rare earths, and how will it change the future of electric cars? You will get the answer through the video right after this. But first, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to not miss any interesting videos about cars. Rare earths refer to a group of 17 elements that are being integrated into various products, from consumer electronics to airplanes and rockets. Contrary to their name, in reality, rare earths exist quite commonly in the earth's crust. However, the problem is that they do not usually gather in one place but are evenly distributed everywhere. To exploit rare earths, if not found in a large reserve, it may be necessary to mine container loads to obtain just a few grams. This makes mining more expensive and difficult. Rare earths are not only valuable because they are rare but also because they are an indispensable component in many modern industries. Moreover, the process of separating rare earth compounds and handling the natural radioactive substances in rare earths requires a certain level of scientific and technological expertise and is a non-renewable resource. Therefore, the exploitation, storage, and use of rare earths are a strategic card that any leading country will gain a significant advantage in competing to increase national power. Currently, China controls about 95% of the global rare earth output and is the world's processing factory. Maintaining this advantage for many years has made China the global controller of this strategic material. It was thought that with this trick, China could push customers dependent on the rare earth supply into a difficult position to completely control the high-tech supply chain. But no, Tesla, a leading company in the field of global electric car manufacturing, has announced plans to reduce the use of rare earths in the company's future generations of cars. In a presentation, Tesla displayed a comparison table between the current use of rare earths in the permanent magnet engine of Model Y and a potential next-generation engine that does not use rare earths. Although Tesla did not disclose details about the specific elements they are using, there is a high probability that among these elements, there will be neodymium along with other elements such as dysprosium and terbium. The king of electric cars in the US also confidently announced that for the next generation engine, they will integrate a type of permanent magnet that does not use rare earth elements. Although Tesla has not revealed how they are replacing, this statement suggests that they may have found a better solution for the type of electric car engine in the future and not only reduce the use of rare earth elements but also aim for greater efficiency and sustainability. Discussing this information, mechanical experts on the manufacture of electric engines argue that the main replacement solution for neodymium is the neodymium magnet compound, which is usually replaced with simple ferrite to reduce the use of rare earth elements and increase recyclability. Also according to experts, other types of permanent magnet materials, such as nickel aluminum, cobalt, and samarium cobalt alloys are being researched for replacement. However, these studies are mostly still in the experimental stage and have not been widely deployed in practice. So, let's delve a little deeper into the actual role of rare earths in the electric car manufacturing industry. As you may know, thanks to their magnetic and electromagnetic properties, rare earths have played a crucial role in the production of engines for hybrid and electric cars. However, there are many misconceptions about the use of rare earth elements in electric cars and reality, not all are integrated into lithium-ion batteries. Instead, the engines of electric cars often use many rare earth elements such as neodymium, which is used to create strong magnets for electric motors, brake discs, and speakers. These neodymium magnets usually include additional substances from dysprosium and terbium. It should also be noted that not all EV engines use rare earth elements, for example, Tesla only uses them in DC permanent magnet engines, but does not apply to AC induction engines. Initially, Tesla's cars using AC induction engines did not require rare earth elements and the inventor, Nikola Tesla, was named after the company based on this technology. However, when Model 3 was introduced, they switched to using a completely new permanent magnet engine, reducing the use of rare earth elements in all car models. An effort that the company announced has reduced the use of rare earth elements by 25% in the parts of the latest version. In addition, not only Tesla but other car manufacturers such as GM, Jaguar Land Rover, 
and electric car parts suppliers are actively researching or have developed engines with low or even no rare earth content, including types of engines using magnetic fields such as EESM instead of permanent magnets, or Nissan, is one of the companies that go further with a dual strategy to develop both new EESM engines and permanent magnet engines. However, with the commitment to eliminate rare earths, in the context that China is strongly controlling the exploitation and processing of rare earths, restrictions on the export of gallium and lead coal have highlighted the risk of overdependence on a single supply source. Similarly, Germany's ZF company has made significant progress in developing EESM engines with size and performance equivalent to permanent magnet engines. This is an important contribution, helping them to be more independent. Currently, they are in the process of negotiating with car manufacturers in the US, Europe, and China to supply new engines and may produce electric car models using this engine within the next two years. However, in addition to reducing dependence on rare earths, car companies are also concerned about the refining process of rare earths related to solvents and toxic waste, which is seen as a conflict with the goal of sustainability. Mr. Ben Chizik, the Director of Technical Business Development at Drive System Design, said that the company is developing engines that do not use rare earths with three car manufacturers. He also said that if you do it right, you will have a much more sustainable product. Some car manufacturers like BMW have achieved success after many years of research, especially in developing EESM engines for the upcoming generations of electric cars. The engineers in charge of developing BMW's EESM engines affirm that this is not a trial run, it works very well without the need for rare earths. According to calculations, the average permanent magnet engine of an electric car uses about 500 grams of neodymium. The price of this element is fluctuating greatly, although it is lower than the peak of last year. Currently, the price is still much higher than the lowest level in 2020, at $125 per kg. In this context, Germany's Vitesco company has developed an EESM engine for Renault and will introduce a new version in 2026. The company also said that the replacement solution that does not use rare earths helps them avoid large price fluctuations. Moreover, Niron Magnetics is also developing a permanent magnet that does not use rare earths. CEO Jonathan Roundtree emphasized that Tesla's announcement about eliminating rare earths has broadened the buyer's vision about the reality that you don't really need rare earths to make electric car magnets. Meanwhile, Nissan is using the EESM engine on its Aria crossover. Mr. Shinju Oki, an expert on electric cars and motion systems at Nissan said that the company is developing both EESM engines and permanent magnet engines. The consulting company IDTechX predicts that in the next decade, permanent magnet engines that do not use rare earths may decrease their global market share. However, they still account for more than 70%, especially due to Chinese electric car manufacturers who do not have to face the pressure to reduce the use of rare earths and their market share could reach nearly 50% in Europe. In general, while Western car manufacturers still have to face the challenge of using rare earths and permanent magnets, they are also making significant efforts to reduce these rare earth elements. Mercedes-Benz also announced that their next-generation electric vehicle platform contains almost no heavy rare earths. So, while China still tightly controls the exploitation of rare earths, the efforts of major countries such as the US, Europe, and Japan to intensively research alternative solutions not only help reduce supply pressure but also minimize risks related to supply security. In addition to car manufacturers, consulting and technology development companies like Vitesco in Germany and Niron Magnetics are also contributing to this race by developing engines and permanent magnets that do not use rare earths. However, this trend also poses challenges in terms of competition and simultaneously increases research and development costs. Although the price of rare earths has decreased compared to its peak, manufacturers still have to face the challenge of finding effective and sustainable alternative solutions in the context of the automotive industry increasingly transitioning to electric cars. And those are the details about the revolution in the EV engine manufacturing material industry. Thank you for watching and listening. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel to not miss any car news.